how much money do you really need to start a sticker shop? Hi, I'm Mariah. This is Mariah Monique Design. And in today's video, I will be sharing exactly how much it cost me to start my sticker shop on Etsy. The first thing that I purchased that is a definite necessity, which is your printer. Now printers can range in price. I have a low-end printer, an HP Envy Pro. It's very basic, but it definitely does get the job done. And HP has a subscription service where they send you ink every month. So you never have to like worry about having enough ink or running out. So that's very convenient for me. My printer was very inexpensive. It runs for about $100 now. You can definitely find them secondhand as well. But if you're wanting to get a more high-end printer, those will run you closer to around $500 or higher. But the added bonus for that is that you can also print art prints and you can do a lot of other things with your printer and print larger format sizes. My printer can only go to 8.5 by 11 but if you have a larger printer, then you can do higher stuff. You can do 11 by 14, you can do 13 by 20. I think that's the size. You can do just a lot more. So in the long run, it's probably better to get that type of printer. But if you're just starting out, if you don't have that much funds, then definitely a lower end inkjet printer will still do a decent job. Second, you need to decide if you want to outsource your stickers or make them handmade. Personally, I do both, but I prefer to outsource my stickers and I will tell you why. Outsourcing stickers saves you on time and costs for buying sticker paper, laminating sheets. You don't need to buy a Cricut or a Silhouette. I just outsource your stickers. If you're just starting out and you don't want to deal with all of the mishaps that can happen, you don't want to spend all of your time making your stickers then definitely outsourcing is a good option for you stickers generally i found i can get stickers for around 60 cent per sticker sometimes if companies have deals you can get them for lower than that you can get them for even like 30 cent or 25 cent per sticker companies that offer deals include sticker mule sticky brand vinyl disorder zug monster and there's a whole lot more. You just have to look around and do your own research on that. If you sign up for Sticker Mule's newsletter, they also have sticker deals that come out every now and then. And I was able to get 50 stickers for $29, which is a really great deal. I definitely utilize that every time it comes up. If you want to make your stickers by hand, then you'll either need a machine to cut them out for you, which you can get a Cricut or a Silhouette machine to start out, or you can just opt to cut them out by hand. This is definitely the most lower cost thing you can do, but it is very time consuming and your hands might cramp, which happened to me a lot. This is, this is what I did when I was first starting out and just deciding if I wanted to have a sticker shop at all. So if you're not totally sure and you want to just play it safe, you can definitely just print stickers out on your printer and then cut them out by hand. It is painstaking and time consuming, but you definitely get the hang of it and then it's just kind of like meditative in a way like you're just cutting them and just watching tv it can be fun if you're watching a movie or something but it's definitely a lot of work i would prefer having like a machine cut it out for me or just having someone else do it all together now crickets i personally have a cricket here but i got mine second hand and it was about 40 dollars so you can definitely look on like eBay or Facebook Marketplace. I looked around and there's always at least one option for me where I live. So maybe there are for you too. And you can save a lot of money that way. But if not, and you want to buy it new, they run around $200 to $300. So it's something to save up for, but it does make a huge difference in your productivity and just streamlining your process. For the amount I spent on my stickers for my inventory, I spent around $100 and I got 300 stickers outsourced for that price. I utilized a lot of deals for this so it definitely took over a month to source all the different manufacturers. I bought stickers from them only when they were at a reduced price. If you have time to plan then this is a very great way to save money especially if you're starting out and to also test out stickers at a lower price to see if they're even worth selling and buying them later on. For the stickers I made by hand, 
I had to buy sticker paper, which cost me around 10 to $20. I use Koala matte and glossy vinyl papers, and I also use online labels weatherproof matte. Now online labels has samples. You can get three sheets of paper for free. If I can find the link, I will put it in the description for you. Sometimes you can't find it as easily, but I definitely utilize that as well when starting out. Number four, you need basic shipping supplies. You really only need either envelopes or bubble mailers to get started. If you think you might have a couple big orders, having a few boxes on hand is nice as well. Maybe buy like a pack of 10, but definitely not more than that. And while cute accessories and packaging is nice and pretty, it's definitely not needed if you are completely starting out. You can get craft envelopes on Amazon for very cheap and they work really well. And you can also get bubble mailers that do a great job. If you have a limited amount of money to start with, it's better to spend that on the materials than, or the stickers than the packaging. I spent around $50 on envelopes, mailers, and things to go inside the envelopes. It's like cellophane bags, thank you cards, things like that. Five, this is the last thing and may not be necessary depending on where you live, but in the United States, I think it's better to establish yourself as an LLC or as some sort of entity outside of yourself. My video cut out here. For me, it costs about $25. So not that much extra and it has extra protections for you. So you can look into that and see if it applies to you. But that's it for this video. In total, I spent, what, like around $300? Hi guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe as it'll really help me as a small artist and small YouTube channel. I will see you in my next video. I make videos every Monday, so see you then. Bye.